Mr. Mr. Philip Philk. Oh, Phil, yeah. What, what, do you, what do you have a question for Phil about? Where, where's the Brazil Frank movie? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen he farmed a thousand followers. Uh huh. Sure did. Where is it? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I think I called wait, him out. <laughs> yeah. Wait until you see. Wait until I leak the chat logs and all. Oh, <laughs> no. Why don't you, for, for my own sake, but then also, you know, for the audience that's watching right now, why don't you give us a little rundown of like where you started in editing well i started uh many years ago in the call duty sniping community so when okay. people do little circles yeah. and such uh, i think quite a few of uh, the current day editors came from there it's either you can either come from that scene or the old school cs 1.6 or vera mm -hmm. and um i used to uh play a lot um used to do it all myself but then i kind of uh got the passion of like watching montages and such back then the the route that i went into was more of the um lead editing so i can't okay. skip the editing part but then i kind of like micromanage these uh, small teams and uh, helped like get the projects out get them all edited for all the players and the teams i see so, so you, you went, you uh, went more of the that. managerial route like you were you like yeah. to be more of a creative manager than more of like a like a grunt editor or, or actually like you know to dive in and, and sort of piece it together yeah, so I, I okay. kind of had like the visions myself, and um, I was quite good at like communicating this to uh, the creatives uh, back then, and that's kind of the route I went uh, into. So you were so like a broker. I, so you, you 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 sort of went the broker route, where you were sort of like, um, I mean, you were like a like an agent almost for editors. Yep. Okay, let's let's rewind a little bit. Now that we jumped ahead, let's jump back. So so you, you worked with cod then you got into like you know counter-strike a little bit so so how did big how did you and big hook up and how did you um get hired by them and join their team i uh came from swell patrol okay uh, remember the NAL. yeah so freakazoid swag Freak, yeah okay um mm -hmm. that, that whole click i just wanted to kind of get my hand uh into counter-strike movie making and i wanted to volunteer myself towards that just so i could okay. learn on the way so start kind of like a lower a lower point and then gradually build myself up build myself up until i can you know start offering my services to you know bigger org or uh you know wherever i want to go i kind of got into contacts uh through a, a former employee of big uh we were just like playing cs together you know the conversation came up where we're like is would it be possible for me to at least try and offer my services to uh big um i offered to do a little trial video for them they liked it they got me some more on worked out and then i guess that's all she wrote and then i just kept pursuing and i became the creative lead for big what do you feel like the big differences between cod editing and counter-strike editing now now that you're we're at this part in your career of you like being the creative lead for big i think it's quite a big gap to be honest i think okay. more so the cod editing it's more heavily relied on kind of sync into music going a bit crazy for effects where i feel like with counter-strike movie making it's definitely kind of like the process of storytelling almost with cod you can kind of just like keep like syncing along you know all the clips to the uh the beat sort of thing and you keep that flow up if that makes sense so so you, know, you don't think syncing is important in counter-strike rag movies i think it's definitely it definitely helps okay um yeah i i think it's it's a lot more it's a lot cleaner fashion in frag movies and i prefer that i think there's um sometimes with the call of duty side of things you can't really tell what's going on it's going a bit mental and the layering of like uh frag movies where you can like really just like get little details mm -hmm. perfect even with, like s the small things like sound effects and such you know with the shell sure. casing hitting the floor or something and it's just that that little detail is what i really think is the big difference between color editing because color editing might seem more complex uh on the technical like process i guess just on the just on the base layer Ooh. then with the uh, csgo frag movies i think it goes like way deeper uh, in complexity. So I, I noticed that you do a lot of, um, not a lot, but you do some live broadcast and live production. Do yep. you like the the, the pre-taped uh, sort of like non-live creative stuff that you do? Or do you like that that thrill of being, you know, in the trenches during live production? I did like a lot of like the production stuff uh, prior to like when the broadcast normally goes live okay. or like a few days before. So I did that uh, initially when I came into ESL as a freelancer. Yeah, and, so that, that was actually uh, going to be my next thing that I was going to ask you about. <laughs> so yeah, how did ESL I keep, I work out? The beat yeah, 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 you're messing up my flow of my interview here. Come on now. So yeah, okay. All right. So let's get to ESL first, and then we'll go into live production. So yeah, how did you get hooked up in ESL? Was it FGW? The man, the myth, the legend. It was indeed. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. And how so, do you know Frank? Uh, uh, through Tobin initially. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So they've been friends for God knows how long. They're both sure getting on a bit. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, it's not age is not isn't age is not doing us uh, kindly, I must say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, uh, through Tobin, I got that contact. Uh, he initially reached out to me, and then I just said, "Fuck it, let's just send it." And <laughs> yeah, no, I You'd started take a doing shot. a little yep. bit. <laughs> Yep, uh, and then I first worked on a, a project called the the Movie Fragger. The idea behind it really kind of like resounded with me, so I just I really enjoyed it. And the point of it was uh, to be edited quite poorly, like the old uh, like yeah. movies I used to see. Right. And I was like, that's perfect because I absolutely <laughs> suck at editing. I got, uh, but now I uh, pretend that this editing was just a joke when it's actually my ability. So. <laughs> I so love it. I love it. I love so it. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we, so if another one of those comes out, we know why you're just trying to mask your actual ability. <laughs> uh, that's, that's exactly what it is. And yeah, it's one of those things where you get reached out at uh, 11 p.m. at night and you're working until 6 a.m. Oh, the esports ended. That's and it's uh, well, the uh, I guess the content made up for uh, the unfortunate timing. With that being said, do you see yourself elevating to like a director of production or, or something like that? Like what? Where, where do you see yourself going from here? For the for the foreseeable future, I'd like to still continue pursuing with Big. Okay. Um, it's the only organization where I've seen as a family. That's very important. I kinda, I, I, yeah, I, you don't really get it with a lot of um, orgs I've I've noticed, but Big is the one where it's just absolutely just had that family, with, even with the players, yeah, the management, and everyone just is quite a tight knit um, environment. It's not as much the same as it is now as it was before because a lot of people have come and gone but it'll always still you know feel at home for me so sure. you've been doing some like short form editing content with in game and like doing short frag movies is there like uh do you want to maybe one day make a a larger frag movie that spans you know tens of minutes or are you happy with doing short form frag movie content honestly i'd rather work on a documentary yeah, you seem like that. I, I've I've gotten that vibe from you. It's not that you hate like making in-game stuff. You just seem like you you, you want something deeper, something more personal. Well, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But making a a big big little uh, documentary would be nice. We uh we released some of that stuff uh, recently when God B came okay. back. It was obviously edited a bit more uh, in the happy side of things than right. what the original version was. Yeah. Uh, however, you know, still showing that there's still a little bit of life uh, to that kind of content. And hopefully now that that's gone out, we can start pushing more for the more deep kind of emotion content, I guess, uh, better wording it. But yeah, it's kind of the route which I'd like to go with, Big. Before we get going, do you have any questions for me? Not so much for you. Okay. But for you have, a different individual. You have a question for Dan. What, what can I pass along to Dan? Uh, not even Dan. Oh, really? Someone else that's appeared on the show. Yeah, uh, Mister Mister Philip Philk. Oh, Phil! Yeah, what, what do you, what do you have a question for Phil about? Where Where's the Brazil frag movie? Uh, yeah, uh, seen, you found a thousand followers. Uh huh. Sure did. Where is it? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, I think I called wait, him out. <laughs> yeah, wait until you see. Wait until I leak the chat logs and all. Oh the no. Oh God! Is did he get ca caught in 4K uh, on Discord? Oh, I'll, I'll make him get caught in 4K. I've got all the logs. Oh no! So, He's gonna get doxxed to hell. So that, this hopefully, is, we'll, hopefully we'll see that soon. This is Phil's call out right now. You better deliver something. W on that note, <laughs> Phil's Phil's in big trouble, and this interview is over. <laughs> Adam, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate your time. It's it's thank been fun to talk. Time. Yeah, it's been fun to talk to you about Big and, and the creative plans you guys have for the future, and and to just honestly hear more about you and your backstory and, and your history. It's it's been fun to get to know you a little bit as a, yeah, as a person. Yeah, it's not that exciting. Yeah, no, it's 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 always exciting. It's it's fun to hear about people's history and and how they got into into editing and, and being a creative in the in esports. So. I really appreciate it. 